Hey everybody, I hope you are having an awesome day. Uh, today I'm going to be explaining a common term that's thrown around a lot that a lot of people uh, may not understand, and that is nutrient density. Okay, a lot of the health and wellness space has shifted to talking about nutrient density, and uh, we want to explain kind of what that is. So when you hear about it, you understand um, the rest of the content around that. So um, this is your nutrient density 101 uh, information. So what does that actually mean? OK, we are very familiar with tracking our foods um, in various ways by like how many calories it has. Right. Um, or like what the percentage of macronutrient content is like, is this a carb or is this a fat or is this a protein? That's how we are typically used to measuring and talking about food. Um, but there has been a shift. And the way that I talk about food is via nutrient density. Um, what nutrient density means is that on a per calorie basis, uh, on, a, on a per calorie basis, how many nutrients, how many different vitamins, phytonutrients, minerals, um, all that micronutrient stuff, how much of that is in the food per calorie? OK, so um, we want to maximize our nutrient density when we are in the phase of life that is pregnancy, postpartum, breastfeeding, um, because we are eating for two. Um, but eating for two, not on a calorie basis, it's not like you have to double your number of calories, but we do have to double the amount of nutrients that are in our food so we can provide for us and for growing a whole other human. So that's where nutrient density comes in, and it's a really effective way to measure if the food that you're um, giving yourself is helping you and uh, making your body work for you, or maybe not as nutritious. So Again, it means the number of micronutrients. So we're talking vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, that type of stuff per calorie in the food. And the higher that number is, the more nutrient dense the food is, which basically means that if you're eating a more nutrient dense food, every bite that you're taking is giving you more nutrition per bite than if you're eating a non nutrient dense food. Um, you've probably heard around here that like, uh, 100 calories of sugar is going to have a entirely different effect on your body than, say, 100 calories of broccoli, right? Not all calories are created equal. That's something that's um, out there and getting to be more common. Um, and that is because on a nutrient density scale, the broccoli is much more nutrient dense food than the sugar is. So um, you can see that by measuring foods by nutrient density, how much nutrients are actually in there per bite can help you figure out which ones that we want to preferentially go for and why they have such a different effect on your body when there is the same amount of calories in that food. So um, when we are pres uh, when we are pregnant, breastfeeding, postpartum, um, in th this phase of our life where we are really, um, you know, pedal to the metal, like full throttle all the time um, in growing another human and running around like crazy, having very little energy, very little sleep, then it is very important to be focusing on the nutrient density of our food and asking yourselves, how can I make each bite of my food more nutritious? How can I make sure that each bite of my food is giving my, me more vitamins, more minerals, more healthy fats, more healthy proteins per bite um, in that food? so that I can really maximize my time eating, maximize what I'm eating, and maximize the number of building blocks that I have for my body to be able to repair itself and carry out its normal functions. So hopefully that is making sense to you guys. If you have any more questions about what nutrient density is and how you measure it, like leave a comment here, um, send me a message, whatever you need, and I will be happy to talk to you about it. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you around for the next video. Bye. Hey there, thanks for watching my video. If you want more great content like this, comment and let me know what questions you'd like me to address. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.